A fine day to you, friend. May you die. Need something? Speak, Elf. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time.
Maik wishes you well. with that fire. Oof! Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Need something? Need something? I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. Have you spoken to my parents yet? Please. My love depends on it. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to Ha- Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. 
I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. I told you that I didn't want you to go up there. Bassianus is still so terrified of Yoththor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastred to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Got to thinking, maybe I'm the dragon boy, and I just don't know. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. What did you call me? Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Ismir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. Fastred, I have something to say to you. Klimic? What is it? I don't want you to leave Iverstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Klemic. I, I need you to pitch in a little more around here, dear. I help. I do the chores. What else would you have me do? I know your sights are set beyond this town, but for now, while you're under our roof, I need you to pitch in a little more. Yes, Mother. It's a fine day with you around. I I wish I could... If I were you, I'd move right through our backwards little town. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Mm hmm.
retrieve the horn of Jorgen Wimkoll. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Sky above, voice within. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Do not be so sure about that. Beware. The Blades may claim to serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. As for me, I kept from you only what you were not yet ready to know are still not ready to know, as your question reveals. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. I have given my answer. Go and reconsider your course. Dragonborn, Wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrand. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. 
Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open
Strunmach, my mountain. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dova King. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Timvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Hmm, yes. They are very protective of me, Bachlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? Nid, if you wish me to answer your question, you must answer mine.
Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? But Costeed, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Costeed Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. <laughs> do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez? of fate. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Losgra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? True, but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Meye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend 
from those who created it. Croesus, no, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Dremjolok, greetings. Sum Ark Mor, speak. I will return it here, but I believe. Then you will feel, you will see them, the first mortal. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin, Sachrot Hun. The Nords have had many heroes since, but none greater. Vormendark. I do not know. Perhaps, in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps, also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. Yes, there were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin Sthur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible idea to the immortal Dove. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back.
Sum Ark Mora. Speak, I w- which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Faith, ponder. That is fine. Which calls to you, Dov? In your that, think of this as the fire builds in your soon. In your breath, Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What? Will you spare? Soon Ark Mora.
I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time, but even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful.
Can't wait to gut one of those rebels. You did what? By the gods, you're serious. You'd better report this to Commander Mero right away. He's at the Penutus Aculatus outpost, up in Dragon Bridge. Until next time. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. but we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. <laughs> you found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Take a look. All right, then. Got some, huh? I used to be an adventurer like you, but I took an arrow in the knee. We drink to our youth. Days come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. The blood and our steel we will need a room. Talk to Delphine. Home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day, sure thing, death, it's yours for a day. We'll I'll show you to your room. This way. Let me know if there's any. The else you need. Fight all our lives. And when Southern go
can take. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Solitude's famous for its Bard's College. Worth a visit if you've never been. Some of them can sing. Yes? The leader of the Dark Brotherhood? You mean Astrid? Dead? And this is no jest? Ha! Huh. This is a stroke of good fortune. Long have I watched the Dark Brotherhood's movement, waiting for the time to strike. That time is now. My agents have recently acquired the passphrase to their sanctuary. It is. Silence, my brother. Every assassin in that hole must be put down. You, my friend. You've slain their leader. This honor should be yours. Do this, and you will be rewarded most handsomely.
can take... Where do you want to go? <laughs> Climb and back and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. 